Welcome to the Drastic Results with Tony Harris Taylor Show. In this episode, you're going to meet two of my clients on the hot seat. They took their very bad situation and turned it into a business. You're not going to want to miss this. It's time to get drastic. Let's go. With Tony Harris Taylor. Welcome to the Drastic Results with Tony Harris Taylor Show. In today's episode, you're going to meet two of my clients, Ms. Jessica Marie from Windsor, Canada, and Ms. Davina L. Coleman from Beaufort, South Carolina. These ladies are incredible, and both of them took their bad situations and turned them into a business where they're helping other women to relieve their bad situations. So let's talk about Jessica. Jessica's all about helping women with their money, helping them to have financial freedom. She's not a financial advisor. What she does is helps them to manage their debt and then also to have a mindset, a different mindset about money. You're gonna hear her story and how her childhood led her to be where she is today. Then you're gonna meet Davina. Davina, her story is incredible. She got some news that really knocked her on her, on her knees, literally. And she decided that she was going to help women to birth their vision. Wait till you hear how she describes that. But what's really incredible about the two of them is when life was down for them, they decided to turn it into a business that could help other people. What do you have? What's going on in your world that maybe when you turn that thing around, you'll be able to help other people to thrive and come out of their situation? That's what happened to me. I didn't like networking. I didn't know if I wanted to be a coach. My world was turned upside down after my husband passed away. And I took that situation and turned it into my business. So think about it. If something's going on in your life right now, just it might be setting you up for your comeback so that you can help somebody else. Yeah, that's amazing. So when we come back, we're going to have our hot seat episode with my two clients, Jessica and Davina, and you're going to be amazed. We'll be right back. Did you know that 76% of warm referrals actually close? Are you getting all the referrals that you want? My name is Tony Harris Taylor and I am the community builder with Network in Action Northeast Houston. I bring business owners together to help them to build relationships to bring each other more leads. If you're interested in getting more leads for your business, contact me at NIANortheastHouston.com. Realtors. Has the hot real estate market convinced your customers that they don't need to pay for your expertise? Anybody can sell a house these days, right? If you're frustrated defending your price as an expert realtor, I'm here for you. My name is Roberta Rabella with Rabella Coaching Group. I help you effectively communicate your value without begging or bragging or spending hours on social media. If you are ready to eliminate hustling for value while still helping your sellers and buyers meet their goals, all while still enjoying your life, Schedule a discovery session here at robertorabella.com. Welcome back. We're here with our first hot seat guest, Miss Jessica Marie from Windsor, Canada, and her business is Money Power Freedom Coaching. Welcome, Jessica. Hi, Tony. 
<laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the show. Jessica has been coaching with me for, I think your one year is coming up. And it's been amazing just getting to know you, understanding your business. But why don't you tell our audience who you are and what you do? Sure, I'd love to. So my name is Jessica Marie, and I am a financial empowerment and uh, financial empowerment coach and consciousness activator. Tony, you know how there are so many successful women out there who get to the end of the month and wonder where all their money went? Well, what I do is I lead women and support them along this journey towards financial empowerment. I mean, at the end of the day, I want them to have all of their heart's desires and money in the bank at the end of the month. So that's what I do. So what motivated you to start this business? <laughs> that's a great question. Um, my own personal experience, of course. You know, I was just that, um, a successful woman making great money, um, but spending it all irresponsibly and would get to the end of the month and didn't know where all my money went. In fact, I started to become fearful of my future, fearful of, you know, what I, what I would do, what would happen if I lost my job or my house burned down or any sort of, um, you know, um, traumatic thing happened. And, uh, I became so fearful, I decided I needed to do something, I need to take action. In fact, I took drastic action, Tony. Mm -hmm. And I did some, uh, some incredible things, but I got some drastic uh, results as well. I had set out on this debt free journey, believing that debt freedom was my ultimate goal. I've since realized that that is not the actual goal that I had intended for. Um, but yeah, I paid off nearly $30,000 in 10 short months um, with those drastic actions that I took. Um, and then realized at the end of that journey, um, that debt freedom does not equal financial empowerment because I was still living in fear until I became more conscious and aware of what money really is, how it works, and how to leverage it to my advantage. Okay, so I want to recap what I heard. You started <laughs> out really wanting to help people to get debt free but in the journey, you realize that that still didn't bring financial freedom. And exactly. so it's all about a mindset, right? Exactly. Everything is mindset and consciousness. You know, you could have no debt or you could have lots of wealth, but still be feeling financially trapped, mm -hmm. living in a fearful mindset that if you, you know, were to borrow money or if you were to have debt that you would be, um, you would be less than, or you would have all of your power taken away. And that's just not the case. In fact, you could be in debt right now and be financially empowered if you can shift your paradigm and understand more about what money really is, how it works, and how to leverage it for your greatest good. And you've had some drastic step stories out in, in your life. You, you lost weight. If I remember correctly, mm -hmm. yeah, you yeah, were an addict at one point. So you are the epitome of being a drastic stepper. So I always like to ask in your story, what was that low point that made you say, I've got to do something different, take some drastic steps or else? Yeah, that I'm glad you brought that up, Tony, because what you see is not always what you get. And I love speaking um, my truth. I, I think it's power to speak your truth. And, you know, when I share with the world, with the public that, you know, I am a domestic violence survivor, I am a recovering alcoholic, I have experienced financial despair as a kid growing up with my mom on welfare. I like to share that because then people, I don't want people to pity me or feel sorry for me, but I want them to see the real me. Um, the me that has suffered and has risen above all of these challenges. And I'm somewhere, someone here today that can 
you know, show you the way. So yeah, that that one situation you you might be referring to was uh, a huge epiphany for me. See, growing up as a kid, um, with my single mom on welfare, money was always a problem, we always struggled to have money. And I often saw my mom crying, because she didn't have enough money to for the necessities to put food in the fridge to buy Christmas presents, um, whatever the case may be. And I remember seeing my mom crying on her bed, because she didn't have money. And I felt powerless as a kid, because as a kid, there's not really much you can do, especially to help your parents. So fast forward, I'm 37 years old. And, you know, I'm making great money, I hit the six figure mark, I felt like I had made it in life. Um, but I was living completely out of line. I didn't know how to, to, to keep my money, even right. though I was able to receive it. And so you know, I found myself crying on my bed one day, uh, worried about money. And I had a flashback of my mom crying on her bed, worried about money. And, and this huge epiphany came over me. And I realized that I had become the woman that I so desperately didn't want to become. Um, and so that epiphany was a big realization for me and a turning point for me to really go on this expedition to understand this whole thing of money because you know my mom was a woman who couldn't receive money you know she was on welfare she she, she barely could make any money doing whatever she could and me i was able to receive it um you know right. make great money but i couldn't keep it so i was i needed to figure right. out what is the deal what's going on with this this whole thing with relations money uh relationship with money okay so I appreciate you sharing that very intimate story, but on the hot seat, you get to tell me what one of your marketing challenges is. And I want to help you with that real quick. Yeah. So what is your challenge? Okay. So I've got this business going and it's, you know, just about a year in the making. And I know there's so many things that I need to do to keep taking the next step forward. You know, I want to, I want to find my people that I'm meant to serve. I want to make a difference. Right. Um, and social media is one of those things where, you know, you got to stay on top of it. You got to be pushing content out there. And I am a busy person and, you know, I feel like I'm lacking in that department. I feel like if I'm not doing these lives constantly and pushing out content that, you know, I'm failing, or I'm not, I'm not showing up, you know, okay. what do I need to be doing? How often do I need to be doing it? And like, I need some guidelines. So I'm going to real quickly tell you that um, I see your social media, that's how we met. Uh, but I really want to emphasize to you and the audience that social media really reinforces when someone has met you through networking, through speaking, through other means, social media is the way for them to stay connected to you so that you can, when you push out content, it's a reminder to them who you are and what you do. And so I know um, everybody says you gotta be posting on social media and you do. And I've actually outsourced some of that and I'll give you my connection for that. Um, and it's changed the game for my social media, but it's because the people who follow me are people who have networked with me and they know me outside of social media. So I'm going to encourage you to take that next drastic step and get out there, network, do more speaking, and the content will come because the people who know you will follow you. So listen, we are out of time already. This segment went by so fast. Tell everybody how to contact you. Uh, yeah, the best way to uh, to contact me would uh, would be to uh, either go to Facebook uh, and find me there, Jessica Marie, or MoneyPowerFreedom.ca. Love it. Remember, it's .ca because she's my international client from Canada. Thank you so much, Jessica, for sharing a little bit of your story. And we'll be right back with my next hot seat guest, Ms. Davina L. Coleman. Bye. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Jessica. Are you looking to own a business? Why not own a financial consulting business? Start your new financial planning business 
with a reputable company established since 1969. We support your success with business coaching, a proven money-making system, and an established ready-made audience that will need your help. Contact Marlon Johnson. Call 248-910-2670. This is Tony Harris Taylor, international speaker, marketing and sales coach, owner of Network in Action franchise, a TV talk show host. I help entrepreneurs get known, get connected, get paid to make six figures and beyond. This is Tony Harris Taylor. She got me really motivated. I learned something that I could immediately put to you. Register today to get the connections you need to succeed. Welcome back. Now we're here with my client, Ms. Davina L. Coleman from Buford, South Carolina. Davina is the vision birthing coach. Welcome, Davina. Thank you, Tony. Thank you so much for having me. I am so excited that you chose me to be your coach. I want to say thank you for that. But I want you to tell everybody who you are and what does this vision birthing coach mean? You know, Miss Tony, I like to describe myself as the entrepreneur. I am a principal of a lovely elementary school. Um, But beyond that, I'm also a vision birthing coach. And what does that mean? It means for all you career women who get stuck in the rut of just doing your job and chasing the vision um, of your organization, and you have forgotten about who you are and who you are called to be upon this earth and all of your personal dreams, I am the person who comes in to help you to see beyond the limitations of your career so I can unlock your uh, purpose and unleash your true earning potential. I love that. Now, there's a story around birthing. So tell us your story. And it was one of your low stories. And you actually had to take some drastic steps to get out of get past that. So tell us your story. Okay, so back in 2014, I went through a divorce. And as anyone has ever been through a divorce, it can be one of the most devastating times of your life. And so I decided I didn't want to be married again. I didn't want to have children. And I was just going to focus on my career. And for six years, I did just that. But in the midst of the pandemic in 2020, I decided that I wanted to love again and I wanted to have children. So I went to my female doctor's appointment in August and the doctor said, well, Davina, I think you have one or two fibroids and I'm going to send you to an ultrasound. And I'm like, sure, no problem. I wasn't worried because in the African-American female community, many of us deal with fibroids. And so um, coming up to August 31st, my doctor said that she wanted to have a teleconference to go over the results with me. And now, Tony, I'm a realist. So when she said she wanted to talk to me about my results, I was like, this chick got some bad news. So I was preparing myself for some bad news. So August 31st, I signed on to the teleconference and I'm looking at her beautiful blue eyes. And she says to me, Davina, I have some bad news. I said, yes, ma'am. She said, a normal uterus is six to seven centimeters, but your uterus is 17 centimeters. You have fibroids in your uterus, on the outside of your uterus, as well as in your uterus wall. But this is the part that got me. She said, if you ever get pregnant, you will miscarry. And if you have the surgery to remove them, you run the risk of your uterus being taken and you will never be able to have children. And I'm listening to this lady speak to me and now I'm a thug in my emotions. I'm going to cry, but I'm a thug. So (laughs) I didn't cry. But as soon as I hung up uh, from the teleconference, everything in me just broke. I mean, I was weeping, I was sobbing. And it, what got to me is it was August 31st and the next day was my birthday, September 1st. And at the start of a birthing year, someone spoke death over my life. But I had to say to myself, Davina, are you gonna sit here and just take this news and be sad and not do anything? Or will you get drastic? And will you ask yourself? So I sat there and I asked myself, what is the impact of me not birthing my visions? And that's why I'm in the hot seat today. 
I, I love that. So when you speak, you talk about women aborting their their visions and they're miscarrying their talk to us a little bit about that i just love how you tie all of these birthing um things together to help women see they have to get out of their own way and birth their vision so one of the things um in this process i began to look at the womb and in the natural what happens um, so I can compare it to vision and how we actually vision uh, birth our visions. And so one of the things that I noticed is that, you know, in the natural, you need sperm in order for uh, an egg to be fertilized. And so I had to ask myself, well, what fertilizes your vision? And it came to me that it's our belief that fertilizes our vision. Without our belief, we cannot conceive our visions and therefore we would not be able to birth them. But then I started to pay attention to abortions, miscarriages and stillbirths. And what I noticed is that with abortions, just like in the natural, we make a decision to abort a child. But in the vision realm, we make a decision within our minds to abort the visions that we see for our lives because we have a lack of belief or we don't have the resources. Whatever the case may be, there are vision abortions taking place around us all the time. And then there's other seasons that we miscarry our visions. And why do we miscarry them? We miscarry them because of life. When life happens, we become mothers and wives or whatever the case may be. And we invest all our time in other roles and we forget to invest time in ourselves. And whenever you forget to invest time in yourself and chase your dreams and birth your visions, you will find that you will have vision miscarriages. And other times we find ourselves in this place of having a vision stillbirth. And this is a concept I really like. Because a vision stillbirth, it seems like it's going to be a healthy delivery of your vision. It's coming, it's coming to pass. And you have seen this thing happen. Like, you know it's going to take place. But how many times have you seen entrepreneurs? They birthed their visions, right? And it seemed like it was a healthy delivery. But within a year or two, you, don't lo you no longer hear them talking about their their entrepreneurship ventures. And what happens is you are witnessing vision still burst in front of you. It wow. looked like it was healthy, but once it was delivered, you didn't give it all that it needed to sustain it wow. so that it can grow. Wow, 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 wow. Girl, preach sister, preach. Well, listen, we're here to talk about your marketing and business challenge. So tell us what is your challenge? Okay, look, it's all the viewers, you're going to have to lean in a little bit closer to this because this, this is my reality and I know it's your reality too. I'm, a, I'm an edupreneur, which means I have a full-time job. And so I am struggling with working my full-time jo job and still investing the amount of time that I need to birth my vision, to run my business. So I am struggling with that balance of doing what I'm supposed to do on my job, but when I get home, not being too tired so that I can still invest the same type of time and energy into my business. That's what I'm struggling with. You have a very common struggle. And what's nice about your struggle is that it's the same struggle your clients have when they hire you to help them birth their vision. And so it's boundaries. In a word, it's boundaries. Um, people like us, because we're driven, we work our jobs like we're entrepreneurs, meaning that we probably take some work home or at least it's in our head and in our heart and we're so worn out, we just sit down and not do our business. So we have to treat our job with boundaries because ultimately, if you're going to birth your vision, you're going to have to leave that, that job and it's going to be drastic. But when you do, you'll be glad you set those boundaries and not let the job take over. And so scheduling time for your business is very important to make sure that you keep on task. And of course, doing what you're doing, having a coach that will remind you, you got to keep pushing forward. So tell everybody how they can get in contact with you. Well, you can reach me at www.davinalcoleman.com or you can find me on social media on all platforms, including Clubhouse, with the same username, Davina L. Coleman. 
Wonderful. Thank you so much again for saying yes to your success and choosing me from South Carolina as your coach. Thank you so much, Davina. When we come back, we're going to wrap it up and we're going to talk about what's next for Drastic Results with Tony Harris Taylor. We'll be right back. Are you a busy business owner that feels invisible and you are not making the money you deserve? My name is Tony Harris Taylor with Drastic Results Coaching. I'm a leading marketing and sales coach who teaches service-based entrepreneurs how to magnetically attract their ideal clients to make more money now. If you are ready to get drastic results in your business, contact Tony at 713-387-9273. Remember, take a drastic step today for a fantastic tomorrow. Welcome back. Wasn't that fantastic? We met two of my clients, Ms. Jessica Marie from Windsor, Canada, and Ms. Davina Coleman from Beaufort, South Carolina. Both of those women were incredible. Look how Jessica took her past and her passion for helping women to stop bad money habits and be able to move forward. And then Davina took her sad news of maybe not being able to give literal birth to helping women to birth their vision. Incredible stories. Don't forget to support our sponsors and I would love for you to check out NIA NortheastHouston.com if you're in the Houston area. If you're outside the Houston area, check out Network in Action. You know, networking has changed my life and maybe you're a connector like me and you might want to be a network in action franchisee. Also, this is your time right now to hit the registration button for the viral networking conference. Go to the viral networking conference.com and hit the registration button. You want to register as a VIP so that you can be in the house so that you're in the room where things are happening. But if you just can't get to Houston, then go ahead and register online. Thank you so much for your support. Remember, sharing is caring. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube. This is Tony Harris Taylor saying, take a drastic step today for a fantastic tomorrow. Bye. Drastic.